A delegation from FUFA led by the third vice president, Honorable Florence Nachiwala Chiyinji, paid a visit to Nachivuwa Stadium to check on the progress of the construction works where Pamoja Afcon 2027 is going to be hosted from. Yes. This is the first encounter that uh, Uganda is excited to join the rest of the two East African countries to bid together. Uh, the, our counterparts, the other two countries, are, you know, are ahead of the game with their pitches and we are almost there. That's why we have formed the joint team and we will forward one of our officials from Kufa to constantly work with you from now on, who is uh, CAF, CAF certified as uh, one of the, the pitch licensing uh, uh, officials uh, in CAF. So we will en engage her to come and work with you more closely, especially ahead of the forthcoming visit, which is estimated to be between uh, uh, beginning of July and end of July. So we expect that we are to show our best as a country. We already floated in the bid uh, 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 three inches, and uh, we have inspected uh, almost all of them. We are working back to back to ensure that all the infrastructural facilities, including aviation, uh, hotels, you know, the accommodation part of it, not only the sporting features, but also the rest of the infrastructure that will make AFCON 2027 a phenomenal success. So on behalf of the Federation and the committee, we are here to say that this is not the first time that we are, the last time that we are engaging with you. We are enrolling you into a, a subcommittee under us. Molindwa, who is the spokesperson of the Working Group for Uganda, described the ongoing works at Nachivubo Stadium as impressive and pledged to ask FUFA Club Licensing Manager to have an engagement with the contractors for further guidance before CAF inspects the facility and also to innovate and improve on St. Mary's Stadium and Mandela National Stadium. I remember here when a decision was taken to have this kind of arrangement. My return here after a while, there is very good progress in terms of uh, the work I've done. And as a team uh, responsible for the African beat, which was put in place by the president of the Federation, Nginia Magogo, we are impressed. We have uh, decided that we are going to ask our staff, the club licensing manager, Ms. Naka Gwashila, to come and work hand in hand with these people to give them the technical advice. They still have space, they may have to adjust in some areas to accommodate a few things we are interested in. Uh, but I want to call upon Ugandans that the Pamoja uh, African bid 2027, where we are saying we want African to come to East Africa, it should be a collective dream that all of us must support it. Regardless of our political affiliation, our tribes, our religion, uh, we need to see African coming to East Africa the first time. So we have been to different places. We have been to Koima. We have visited the airport under construction. We have visited a number of hotels there. And we have land there. Our dream is that we can have a hotel, rather a stadium built on that 10 acre land which was donated to us. We have also been to Soloti City. We have visited the airstrip and we have also looked at the development in that area. We have been to Jinja. Uh, we have looked at St. Mary's Chitende. And as we talk now, the access roads are being worked on. We have uh, gone to, to Kadiba, our own. Uh, we have been to Nambole. We have looked at the progress. We are now in Nachivo. Hopefully, by the time the inspection is done by CAF, we shall be... We shall have reached a certain admirable. In addition, Uganda's joint bid with Kenya and Tanzania to host 2027 African Cup of Nations, AFCON, is a great development that is successful. This could greatly improve on the sport's potential on top of improving our infrastructure network and boost the region's economic fortune, hence promoting the country. However, it is important to note that while hosting AFCON offers several advantages, it also comes with preparation-related challenges and costs, and any step missed along the way may be disastrous to the country in a way that a prospective host country needs to have a guaranteed all-inclusive strategy involving the government and the private sector players. Prosina Lunjoji, live at 8.